Think back to when you were 14 years old. You were watching a match. Maybe it was your local senior match, thinking about how you might be on the field in that match sometime in the future. Maybe go in there, make a difference. That would be awesome. Now, imagine that 14-year-old person you were just thinking about and actually put them on the field. How would they have done? Well, if they were Rafael Leai, they might have just messed around and broken the scoreboard because in the senior league of his entire country at the age of 14, Rafael Leai scored four goals in his first six matches. But maybe that's not good enough for you. This guy's not the Messi of the Solomon Islands, right? He's not the Solomon Essi. Patent pending. Well, how about the next season? He came back from a scholarship somewhere else and scored 24 goals in seven matches against fully grown adults in the senior league. Do I have your attention now? Because that is real and insane. Lay is a diminutive forward. He's about 5'6", 1.6 meters, but he is absolutely explosive with his ball carrying and technical with his finishing. And now Rafael Leai, the record shattering diminutive forward from the Solomon Islands has become the first player ever from his country while still a teenager to get a move to Europe. But let me tell you, it had been coming for a while because this kid is ridiculous. Well, let's start with where the Solomon Islands is. It's an archipelago off the east coast of Papua New Guinea and its population is roughly double the size of Iceland. So this is not like one of those 10,000 people countries floating way out in the Pacific. It's attached to a more populous part of the world and as a result has just shy of a million people living in it, which makes the feat of scoring 24 goals in seven matches in the top league that much more impressive. You're talking about some of the best athletes out of a group of 700,000 people and change. And for reference, the Solomon Islands qualifies out of Oceania, which is of course bullied by New Zealand. But in the Solomon Islands, futsal is actually very popular, and Rafael Leai, who was born in 2003, took up the sport at the age of 12. By the age of 14, he'd been selected for the 2017 Oceania Youth Futsal Tournament, and this is where the legend of Rafael Leai officially begins. The Solomon Islands actually had a pretty good tournament. They scored 64 goals and allowed seven, won every match, and ended up with 18 points headed to the Youth Olympics. They beat New Zealand six to one, and the leading goal scorer was a piddly little 14-year-old named Rafael Leai, who scored 34 goals over the course of the tournament. He did that in six matches. Six. 17 year olds were in this tournament. He scored 34 goals in six matches, including in the win over New Zealand six to one, and the Solomon Islands dominated it and heads to the Youth Olympics. Now, the Solomon Islands would go and lose every game with a minus 26 goal difference, but Rafael Leai still finished second top scorer despite the fact they got eliminated in the group stage, scoring seven goals in his four matches at the tournament on a team that was clearly outclassed. Now, these Youth Olympics were actually held in Argentina, which was an advantage and a reason that Leai started to attract a little bit of attention. After his performance at the Youth Olympics, Deportivo Godoy Cruz, a team in the top flight of Argentina, and Brisbane Roar, a team in the A-League in Australia, both offered him trials. But this is where you run into the sort of stuff you learn playing football manager, which I play on stream all the time. You can't move out of your continent until you're 18 years old. His continent's Oceania. So the trials were invalid and pointless, and he wasn't able to go on them, even though this kid at 15 had impressed major clubs enough to, to warrant getting signed and brought out of the Solomon Islands League system where he was now going to have to ply his trade. And somehow finding time between all of this, he makes his debut in the S League, which is the top league in the Solomon Islands with a club called Marist. He makes six appearances and scores four goals right at the end of the 2018 season where he is still legitimately 15 years old. Born in 2003. September of 2003, by the way. But before the Youth Olympics could take place, Rafael Leai had other obligations. He had been called up for the OFC U16 Championships, the under-16 championships in Oceania, and he predictably led Solomon Islands with a fury. In his opening match against Papua New Guinea, he scored four goals in a 5-0 win. In the second match, he scored two goals in a 5-0 win over the big bad bullies New Zealand, and then rounded it out with another 5-0 win over Vanuatu. Against Fiji, he scored again. He scored in every match up to this point to win three to one, setting up a final rematch with New Zealand, unsurprisingly, in which he got a penalty late in the game, but missed it. Then in the final penalty shootout, New Zealand took home the trophy 5-4 in penalties. And so, 
Leai's old nemesis got one back. For what it's worth, Leai did score his penalty in the penalty shootout. Just needed to score the one earlier, too. This result actually still qualified the Solomon Islands for the under-17 World Cup, which Leai would go on to represent the Solomon Islands in in 2019. But the Solomon Islands would lose every game. They lost heftily to Italy, Mexico, and Paraguay. They didn't score a goal. But in the run-up, they played three friendlies that were very telling of how much better the Solomon Islands is than you'd probably think. They beat Moldova 2-1, to one, and then drew against Kazakhstan 2-2 two to two, and Belarus 1-1. One to one. All but one of those goals in all those matches were scored by Rafael Leai, which is a hilarious and true stat. It's hard to believe. He scored four other five goals over the pre-tournament friendlies. And it's worth mentioning that that trip to the U-17 World Cup is the only time that any Solomon Islands men's team has ever made a World Cup of any kind. U-17, U-20, or the senior version. They're all blank. Although he couldn't take advantage of all that other interest, there was one place he could go, which was New Zealand. And he got a scholarship to go play at a place called Scott's College, which is an, an affiliate of Wellington Phoenix, who are the big New Zealand team that play in the A-League alongside Australian sides. He ended the season at Scott's College, of course, as the leading goal scorer in the Wellington High School League with 15 goals. And once that season at Scott's College had expired, he was able to come back to the S-League and sign for a team called the Henderson Eels. Now, he wasn't able to play the whole season, but he did get to play in the final seven games of the 22 game slate in the S League in which he scored 24 goals and won the golden boot playing seven matches. At the end of that season he was offered a trial with the Melbourne Victory for a week in the A League but he still couldn't sign with them so he just kept playing for the Henderson Eels. And it was in the 2020-2021 season that he proved that he was not only just a prolific goal scorer, but also a winner. He played every match of what was a slightly shortened 20 game season and scored 33 goals while also leading Henderson Eels to its only S League title by a singular point. That's right, he's not doing this on a team that is dominant in the league. He's doing this on a team that had never won a league title until he led them there with a second consecutive golden boot performance. By the way, over the course of this season, he was 17 years old. We are still talking about somebody who is ridiculously young to be winning his second golden boot in a senior national league and carrying a team to a league title. At the end of that season, he was offered a trial with Turkish Super League side Alanya Spor, but visa is issues once again got in the way, and so he returned to Henderson Eels again. He was limited the next season. He only played seven matches and scored 12 goals in what was the 2021 season of the S League. They had a full season of 22 matches. I can't find anything on it, but Leai was not available for the majority of those matches. Maybe he was in Turkey. Maybe he was slightly injured. It would have been a, a big news item if he was more seriously injured because the Solomon Times is a very active in keeping up with what's going on with Rafael Leai. Thank you so much to them for helping with this video, by the way. But after that limited season where he only scored almost two goals a game in seven appearances, by March 2022, Rafael Leai was ready for his biggest test yet. And what actually got him his move to Europe that we are getting to, I promise. That was World Cup qualifying from Oceania. Because of COVID-19, this was rescheduled all to March 2022, and it was in Qatar, and it was a bit of a messed up tournament, but Leai still shined. Vanuatu and Cook Islands withdrew from the competition, so Solomon Islands only had one group stage game that they'd qualified for previously. They won it 3-1 to one over Tahiti with a hat trick from Rafael Leai. This is senior international level. Tahiti's a respectable team in the Oceania sphere. They've been to the Confed Cup before. They've beaten the mighty New Zealand, and they were blown away by Leai. Of course, New Zealand comes through the other side of the bracket, is the other top seed, and then the Solomon Islands gets matched up with a surprisingly decent Papua New Guinea side, which they beat 3-2, to two, thanks to a winning goal from Rafael Leai. This puts Solomon Islands in the final against a New Zealand team that only squeaked by Tahiti one to nothing, thanks to a 71st minute goal by their left back Federico Kakase. Great wonderkid football manager, by the way. But in the final, just the same as the U16 Oceania tournament, New Zealand had its way. A 5-0 win for New Zealand to go to the Intercontinental Playoff that held down Rafael Leai, something that seemingly nobody else can do. Even though they didn't make it to the next step of World Cup qualifying, his coach for the national team could not have spoken more highly about the way that he performed at the tournament, not to mention his defining quality, speed. 
Coach Felipe Vega Arango said he's extremely fast. He runs the 40 meter dash in 4.2, 4.3. He's naturally gifted, but also that he's young. He's eager to learn and his work ethic is fantastic. It's important to remember he was 18 years old at this freaking tournament. It feels like his career has been a lifetime already. His coach said, I will be really surprised and disappointed if nobody gives him a contract because that will show that most coaches don't really pay attention to the details. Well, somebody was paying attention, but they weren't there quite yet. Rafael Leai returned to the S League as an 18 year old and scored 22 goals in 10 matches with the Henderson Eels until finally he got the phone call that despite administrative and visa issues, he could answer. His dream of moving to Europe was finally becoming a reality. No Solomon Islands player has ever played in Europe before, and he got a trial with Velez Mostar, a big historic club in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And he appeared in one friendly against a lower level Croatian side during the winter break, in which he scored a goal and had an assist and also hit the crossbar, because of course he did. And at that point, he was offered a contract with Velez Mostar until the end of the season, in spite of the fact that he's a foreign player in every aspect and goes against a lot of registration restrictions for everybody, Velez Mostar has brought him in. And as of recording, they are just coming out of the winter break in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Rafael AI is now 19 years old. God, he's really getting up there. Putting pen to paper on that contract created history, for the Solomon Islands. And now they have their first ever player in Europe, a guy who, in my opinion, has done more than enough to earn the chance to see if his prolific goal scoring can really carry over. And for his part, everybody says he's very humble in all the articles we've read, but his ambition has been stated and is very clear. He says, one day I wanna play in the Premier League in Europe. And at the rate that he's scoring goals against everybody, who can doubt him? Rest assured, we'll keep you updated here with everything that happens with Rafael Leai, one of the most mysterious, out of the way wonder kids you will ever hear about. But if you appreciated the research we've done for this video, please do hit subscribe and you don't have to do anything else. You can just keep it rolling on the binge because we've got another video for you about a wonder kid who was making waves that just disappeared.